Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Exponential 2018 starts next Monday. Apple grounds drone flights near its new campus. And mosquito pack drones set fight against Zika and other deadly diseases. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Only a few more days to go, the major unmanned exposition of the year, AUVSI Exponential 2018 starts Monday, April 30th, 2018, and runs through Thursday, May 3rd, 2018, at the Colorado Convention Center in Denver. This premier event unites the largest global community of drone, intelligent robotics, and unmanned system leaders to shape the future of the industry. Featuring the largest and most comprehensive trade show, this event is a spot to learn from daily keynotes with tech visionaries and 200-plus world-class sessions, as well as connect with 8,500-plus industry pros and business experts from 20-plus industries. Exponential 2018 offers a broad-based, balanced educational program brimming with cutting-edge content and inspirational insights, from policy implications and technical challenges to use cases across vertical markets and everything in between. If you're looking to harness the power of unmanned technology, AUVSI Exponential 2018 is the spot, an intersection of cutting-edge innovation and real-world applications. Exponential is the one event that brings all things unmanned into sharp focus. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. A former airport in Tulsa that has been abandoned for years is now being used by the Osage Nation for training drone pilots. First responders were on the property recently to culminate a 100-hour training course put on by Drone Pilots Incorporated. The drone pilots used their aircraft to locate a suspect who had ditched her car and fled authorities. Canada's Bow Valley College helps drone enthusiasts and professional UAV operators prepare for new and updated aviation laws that will limit where and how they can be flown. Two comprehensive certification courses will be offered at Bow Valley College's Okotoks and High River campuses beginning May 4, 2018. Bow Valley College is one of the first post-secondary schools in Canada to offer UAV courses across multiple regional campuses delivered by experienced aircraft and UAV pilots that meet the Transport Canada UAV knowledge requirement standards. Following comprehensive testing at the PISQ Joint Armed Forces Test Range in Sardinia, Leonardo's new Maroc 40 target drone has been authorized for operational use by the Italian Directorate of Air Armaments and Airworthiness as the National Military Airworthiness Authority. This means the M40 is now ready for operations under a three-year target drone service contract from the Native Support and Procurement Agency, which commenced January 2018. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Incorporated has successfully demonstrated aircraft carrier deck handling to include taxi capability and transition to the launch and recovery phases using a Predator C Avenger jet aircraft as a surrogate. As part of the proposed MQ-25 solution, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Incorporated has demonstrated that the new carrier-based unmanned tanker can integrate with the complexities of existing flight deck operations. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Drone pilot Duncan Sinfield has been regularly capturing videos of the construction of Apple's new circular campus, dubbed Apple Park, being built in Cupertino, California. But it looks like Apple is not particularly keen on the idea. The circular building described as looking like a spaceship has been under construction since 2014, and the building has been in use since September 2017. Sinfield had been posting new videos of Apple Park about twice a month. But recently he says that he's been asked to leave by Apple security personnel shortly after he's launched his drone. On his YouTube page, Sinfield wrote, 
Security at Apple Park generally responds in two white Priuses to my precise takeoff locations in 10 minutes or less. As always, I respect all requests by Apple Security to land my drone and leave the area when asked to do so. Sinful says he thinks that Apple is using RF technology to track drones operating near its campus. Some social media users think Apple should ease up on Sinfield. For example, Twitter user Marco Armont said that the videos are the best recruitment ad I've ever seen to go work for Apple. The UN International Atomic Energy Agency, in partnership with the UN Food Agriculture Organization and the nonprofit group We Robotics, has developed a drone based mechanism that overcomes a critical bottleneck in the application of sterile insect techniques to control insect pests. SIT, a form of insect birth control, uses radiation to sterilize male mosquitoes, which are then released to mate with wild females. As these do not produce any offspring, the insect population declines over time. However, to be effective, the technique requires the uniform release of large numbers of insects in good condition over a given area. For instance, Aedes mosquitoes responsible for the spread of diseases like dengue or yellow fever do not disperse for more than about 300 feet in their lifetime. They are also fragile and high altitude releases by airplanes, often used in the application of SIT for other insects, can damage their wings and legs. The drone-based system overcomes this. The breakthrough technology is also cost-effective. Until now, sterile mosquitoes have been released using time-consuming and labor-intensive methods. Weighing about 40 pounds, the drone can carry 50,000 sterile mosquitoes per flight. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.